Hey folks, welcome back. This is a uh, build number three video of this 3.3 uh, RS Racecraft Wattscraft uh, shorter 11 foot uh, mini boat with the Honda Turbo in it. What did I get done today? Well, I finished, uh, I had a little bit of weld out left up under the bow, the most least desirable welding spot. So I got that done, grinded those welds down. And the big project for the day was getting the uh, the pump ring in. It's a weld-in ring on this one. And getting it aligned, getting it where it's supposed to be, and getting the hole cut, getting the ring in there, and all that kind of stuff. So, without further ado, that's uh, what I got accomplished. And I'll show you some tricks and some things on how I did that. First off, uh, there it is. There's the little hydro blaster and there is the pump ring. It's welded on the inside only. I've, I'm gonna back gouge the uh, the underside of it when I do the plastic and um, I will then weld that as well. Uh, little, I just put four alignment bolts in there. I just had in there to reach up to the bottom to mark out the, uh, the actual circle for it. So I'm gonna cut that out tomorrow. But the biggest thing on on these things is there's um, you're welding some pretty big stuff, you know, relative to the size of the boats. I think that those things are I misspoke yesterday. It's five. It's a five sixteenths bottom, not a seven sixteenths. So it's a five sixteenths bottom, um, and these uh, pump rings are fairly thick too. So there's a lot of heat going into those, and there is. Um, a very high potential to warp the bottom of your boat and uh, and get a hook in it, which is uh, bad juju. So um, I talked about it before on uh, my other videos about the transom, about um, doing cold and fast welds to the transom to the bottom seam so that you don't get the uh, bottom plate pulled up. And I have, you know, I got a little heat in, I think, the last boat, but I beat it down, literally beat it down with a sledgehammer and got that bottom ride plate back to being nice and flat. So um, this was, this one was a little different, having to weld that uh, ring in there. So I'm going to show you what I did to to help alleviate the potential for getting a hook or uh, or any other kind of undesirable shapes in the bottom of the boat. As you can see, uh, I got a big old chunk of, of angle sticking out the bottom of the boat. And this uh, this is pretty thick stuff. It's quarter inch. And what I did is, let me crawl under here. I, I had actually ran from the back, ran it all the way up, well past the opening of the, uh, the pump there, up uh, in front of that. I tacked it on one side like that, so those are fairly easy to pop off. But I did not want this thing coming uh, off, so I actually put like a inch and a half weld there, inch and a half weld there, same thing up there, and same thing up there. Meaning that I don't want that thing to pop off um, while I'm welding it. So as you can see, though, so this thing is nice and supported. The bottom is uh, nice and flush, and then when, when you put the pumping in there, you just reach up with a... Uh, with a C clamp and clamp that thing and it is nice and perfectly flush. This is gonna have to get um, grinded down to match the uh, the shape of the boat. But anyway, thought I'd show everybody that of of what um, what steps I took to stop the bottom from getting undesirable shapes. So I will cut the transom hole out tomorrow and with once that's in, I can finish doing, there's the, uh, the swim step. I can put that in there. I didn't want to do any of that until I had the hole cut out and with the, uh, the Honda adapter ring. And here's that. I welded all this once this thing was in here so that, so if you weld here, this whole plate has a tendency to pull up like that. So this, this being welded right there and there is um, how I alleviated that. I wanted to show, so skipping uh, topics for a minute, I wanted to, somebody asked me a question the other day about how I get the aluminum to get that nice satiny look. And I wanted to show you real quick on, on my, grind, my grinds, if you will. <laughs> so here's this upper deck to the side plate and this is just a flapper disc like this oops let me grab that a flapper wheel and um i, I obviously just grind that down to flush and then i start beveling it a little bit to match the press brake uh bend that's back here so this is a little bit beveled and you can see that the, these these flapper disc leaves pretty good 
good marks in your side. I, I wasn't too concerned with this because I'm gonna paint this anyway. So it's all gonna get sanded for paint. But if you are looking for that nice, um, if you don't wanna paint it or you wanna keep it aluminum, you have to be very, very careful. And like you can see here, I just did about just a, I tried to keep it down as low as I could, about an inch or so um, uh, grind mark. So how do you get that nut? Cause you can still see the, um, the, the marks in there from that flapper disc. So this is what I do, okay? I put a put this first piece of tape, and you can come in different thicknesses to get the, the length of the reveal that you want. And, uh, and then I use that as the line to put my second piece of tape on there. This is just for demonstration. So you can see this. This has the, um, the old grain marks in there. This is good old fashioned, what is this? 80 grit. And it is, uh, it's very simple. It is the good old fashioned, literally just doing this by hand. And I'll see, it doesn't take very long at all. There's no, there's no cheating with, with power tools or anything like that. Because the, um, with the aluminum, you have to go in one direction and one direction only. Otherwise, you'll get those grain marks. You'll get the gouges. You'll get all kinds of undesirable stuff. So, I don't know. What are we going on here? 30 seconds, 45 seconds. Let's, uh, let's see. Peel that off, and you can start to see what I am talking about. And that was obviously with just a very minimal, there's, see there's the bad, bad grouch, but you can start to see how satiny that that looks um, compared. So there's the satiny and there's the, uh, the flapper wheel result. So that's how you get that uh, kind of new-ish look is just, it's gotta be uh, one directional and it's gotta be the old fashioned with elbow grease to, uh, to do that. So that's how I did that last boat, taped off all those seams and then just do one direction of hand sanding. Not very fun. Anyway, just thought I'd share that little tip. I, uh, somebody from New Zealand asked me how I do that. So I figured I'd let everybody in on it and, uh, Hopefully it, it does give it a very nice look. If you can, you can work the sandpaper down right to that uh, tape and it, you get a nice, clear, crisp line. This aluminum is, is pretty rough. It had been sitting outside and stuff like that, so it's already starting to, to weather a little bit. But and there you can kind of see of how that nice satin looks against fairly shiny aluminum. So that's how you do that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, hit that like button. And as always, please subscribe. I think I, 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 the subscriptions tick up like one or two a day. So it's going to be a long process to get us uh, up over a, a, even 500 uh, subscribers. But oh well, I'm doing this for fun and hopefully share a little bit of knowledge and tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.